generous to members. I call on question number two to members, Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is, Mr. Speaker, my question is to the member in charge of the Fighting Foreign Corporate Control Bill. What is the intention of the Fighting Foreign Corporate Control Bill? And, Mr. Speaker, order. I have an order. I have a further point of order from Jerry Brown, the Honourable Jerry Brownley. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm really questioning why this uh, question even got on the order paper when the bill itself has not been read a first time. It's not business before the House until it is read a first time, and therefore speculation about a bill that is not before the House does not fit standing orders. No, I think on, on this occasion I could seek some further advice, but it's on the order paper. It's scheduled to be debated today. I'm going to allow the question to start, but I warn the member in answering the question to keep the answer particularly brief, otherwise it will be closed down. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker, for that generosity. This is one of the most simple and yet profound bills to come before this House, sir. The intention of the bill is to ensure that future trade agreements do not include the investor state disputes settlement provision. That's fine. Supplementary question, Order. Mr Speaker. Order. Now, but order. Before calling the member, the supplementary question must relate now to something for which the member promoting the bill is responsible. Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, supplementary question. How will the fighting foreign corporate control bill benefit New Zealanders and has he got some examples that he could share with us? Order. He can very briefly answer the first part. The second part is completely out of order. Fletcher Tabuto. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee, point of order. There is... There's, there is... Order. Order. This is a point of order. So some members in one particular court of the House will be leaving if they interject through the point of order. I'll hear the point of order. Mr Speaker, uh, you gave a very clear direction to the asker of the question uh, about what should be in the question. It's impossible for that question to be answered without there being debatable material introduced. And that's not appropriate for members' questions. I, I, think, I think that's a reasonable point that the member's making, but I now must establish a pattern whereby I was fair to the previous one and allowed a very brief description of the benefits. I'm going to do the same, but certainly the subsequent part of that sub, uh, question that was asked is out of order. The member, Fletcher Tebito, can briefly attempt to describe the benefits of his proposed legislation. Briefly, Fletcher Tebito. Thank you again, Mr Speaker. Uh, when the Fighting Foreign Corporate Control Bill passes into law, the intent is to ensure that future governments will be free to legislate for the protection of the people of this country that they would presume to represent. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And that, and that concludes questions to members. Would some honourable member care to move that the House takes note of miscellaneous business? Mr Speaker. Mr. The Honourable Bill English.